Hey guys, today um, I'm going to show you, this is kind of like a PowerPoint if we were in class, this would be a PowerPoint that I would show you or a Google slide. Um, but since we're not in class, I'm going to show it to you virtually. All right, so here we go. So we're starting off with our great state, the state of Alabama, and there are three different sections and I've got your work divided up into three different sections here on Schoology. So section one will be about festivals and fairs. Section two will be historic places in Alabama. And then section three, sports and recreation. Sports as in football, sports as in the University of Alabama football. Are you an Alabama fan or an Auburn fan? That's the burning question. Alabama fan here, just in case you're wondering. So in section one, we're gonna learn about festivals and fairs. The essential question while you're listening, while you're reading is you need to be asking yourself, how do the people of Alabama celebrate festivals and festivals and fairs? Some of the terms that you're going to see and some of the terms that you'll need to know for next week for the chapter test. Uh, the culture, industry, theme, heritage, antique, Cajun, immigrant, livestock, future farmers of America, or you may have heard of FFA and then 4-H, which you know starts in fourth grade and exhibit. Introduction, festivals celebrate historic events, art, local food and culture. Uh, fairs show off farm crops, industry and students activities. Festivals are planned around a theme or an idea such as art, food, places, animals, music, events or holiday. Art, important art festivals in Alabama. There are the, there's the Kentucky Festival, which I've never heard of until this. Fayette Festival, Dothan's Mural City Art Festival, Bloomin' Festivals of Arts, Piney Woods, Arts Alive, Flint Festival, Jerry Brown Festival. I'll just be honest with you, I've never heard of any of those. A Heritage Festival reminds us of ways of life of people from long ago. Have you ever heard of any of these art festivals or have you ever attended? If you have, let me know in the comments below. Food festivals, ha ha ha. Food festivals honor the time when most people in Alabama hunted and grew their own food. Important festivals include, I'm just gonna give you a second to look over that. Now I've heard of the Oyster and the Seafood Festival and the Crawfish Festival, that's a big hit. I wanna say that's in Mobile or somewhere down there. Peanut Butter Festival sounds really good, doesn't it? Blueberry Festival. If you've ever attended any of these food festivals, let me know in the comments below. Music festivals, I love to listen to music. Music festivals focus on a specific kind of music. Alabama's music festivals are the bluegrass, Zydeco, music from people with French heritage called Cajuns and gospel. Montgomery has a music and children's festival as well as the Shakespeare's festival. If you are ever in Montgomery and you get the chance to go to the Shakespeare's festival, you should definitely go. It's a neat trip, you won't be disappointed. Cultural history. Culture, cultural history is the way of life of early, earlier generations of your family. Cultural history festivals may focus on the culture of Im immigrants to America. Alabama has festivals for Native American, German, and African American cultures. Cities may honor the people who started the community with a Founders Day. Fairs. Most counties have fairs in late summer or fall. Alabama has some large fairs too. I think they called it in Montgomery when I lived in Montgomery. I, I, I went to school at Auburn University in Montgomery. When I lived there, they had um, a big fair, and I believe that was called the Alabama State Fair. And I want to say they still have it there, but it was so much fun. Rides, and we had music to listen to, um, it, it, and it would be artists, but artists that were popular during my time and nobody that you would know, but it was wonderful. So if you were ever there um, in Montgomery at the time of the Alabama State Fair, you should definitely go or let me know in the comments below if you've ever been. Um, farmers will show their livestock. They're awarded ribbons for winning animals. Farmers also, the biggest, also show the biggest and the best crops to win ribbons. Other ribbons can be won for canning, baking, needlework, and art. And um, come back here tomorrow for section two, historic places.